Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we explore the cryptic story of Bendy Secrets of the Machine. This new Bendy game released for the 2024 anniversary of 414, the 14th of April, a date where we often receive something Bendy related each year. However, this year rather than a simple teaser image or trailer, fans were gifted a free game full of hints as to the future direction of the Bendy series as well as the introduction of two brand new characters. So sit back, relax and let's explore the mysterious world of Bendy Secrets of the Machine. Our journey begins in a strange void-like dimension on a stormy night. The protagonist awakens before an ominous archway, and through this archway, an old building known as the Drawing Room stands, shrouded in darkness. The archway ahead features different phrases above it each time we play. After making our way inside the ominous shack, we find ourselves in a dark hallway, where a ghost-like figure is briefly glimpsed before vanishing into the ether. A swirling tunnel of ink leads to yet another doorway, and after passing through it, we find ourselves locked inside the drawing room itself. From this room, there are three separate paths. One to the left, which is blocked off, one directly ahead of us, and one to the right, which is locked and features brightly lit windows either side. It is here where the player must begin solving puzzles in order to open up the world around them. To access the room to the left, we must walk over to this odd looking vending machine shaped like a frog and collect up three cans of bacon soup which can then be hurled into this pipe on the wall to clear the blockade. After the path is cleared, we meet a mysterious new character with a can of beans for a hat who welcomes us into the theatre. Enjoy the show, my friend. This character is called Ragtime Guffy and we actually met him in the hallway as the ghost before we came into this room. We learn of his identity by consuming one of the rare cans of beans given out by the vendor. Doing so causes Guffy's poster to appear on the wall, where we see him playing the accordion. He seems to be some kind of guide in this inky realm, perhaps the person maintaining the old drawing room, a janitor of sorts. Once inside the theatre, it is possible to project a movie. To do this, we must throw a can of bacon soup through the screen itself. The movie that plays is short and very cryptic in nature. It seems to be a looping montage that shows different effects of the living ink on the human brain and symbolises how the ink within the world of Bendy transforms those who come into contact with it into inky monstrosities. We also catch glimpses of the following phrases, reject, submit and gent. So we can logically conclude that this footage is from the Gent Corporation's own research with the ink machine, which they stole away during the final moments of Bendy and the Dark Revival. The footage showcasing both experiments they rejected and those they submitted for approval during the testing phase. The door in the middle of the room leads to a screen with four targets placed around it. Each of these targets features an iconic Bendy character, both in cartoon and monster form. Ship Ahoy Dudley, Alice Angel, Bendy, and Boris the Wolf. By hitting these targets in a particular order, we can unlock different teaser images for future Bendy games. We'll take a look at this in more detail during an upcoming video I plan to make looking at all the secrets found within this new game but as it is still updating on the daily, I'm holding off a little longer to make that particular video. However, you can go and check out my playthrough so far where we unlock many of these secrets. The final doorway to the right of a room is locked, but by breaking the windows either side with soup cans, it unlocks. Through this door is where the main content of the story is contained. After passing through the door, we find ourselves in a homely looking room. At the far side of the room is a picture of a child with their mother and father. Taped to this portrait is a pencil. By taking the pencil, we are able to begin unlocking the secret story by drawing on various surfaces around the environment. We begin by marking the age of a currently unknown child on the wall. 
It is logical to conclude that this child is the one from the family portrait on the adjacent wall. Next, we begin drawing childlike sketches on paper pages littering the floor. These sketches picture innocent things like butterflies and birds. Suddenly, the peaceful surroundings of a room are shattered by the horrifying sound of a car accident. Looking back to the family portrait, we notice the mother and father are now covered in bloodstains, this signifying that they died in the aforementioned car accident. The door to the room creaks open, now leading to the hallway of a school called Chilton Middle School. At the far end of this hall, the light to the office of a school psychologist illuminates and shows the silhouette of both the psychologist and the person presumably taking care of the child after their parents died in that fatal accident. The conversation plays as follows. It's been ever since the accident. Riley's an amazing artist for her age. But her morbid drawings of monsters are scaring the other students. Will you speak to her? From this brief conversation, we learn that the child is a little girl named Riley, and she has the makings of a gifted artist. However, in the wake of losing her parents, Riley has begun drawing increasingly morbid works of art, images so disturbing that they frighten the other kids at her school. As we turn back to walk down the hallway, we notice a gramophone has now appeared. It begins to play a creepy lullaby, one that references the car accident that claimed the lives of Riley's parents. Take a listen. After listening to this chilling audio, we return to Riley's home. It is now in a state of ruin, with cobwebs, bottles and worn down furnishings throughout. We mark her age on the wall once again, discovering that she is now age 17. A drawing board is now located to the left of the room, and by placing down a page upon it, we sketch out a scene depicting the fatal car accident in cartoon form. Avid Bendy fans will recall the design of this car. It is a taxi-based enemy known as Gasket from Bendy Runner mobile game Nightmare Run. This is interesting, as it suggests that Riley was one of the key artists who worked on the designs found in that game. This makes sense, as the characters in Nightmare Run had a far more disturbing and angry appearance than those of the other designs found in similar Bendy cartoons at this time. This theory is as good as confirmed moments later, when a letter is slid under the door of Riley's home. The letter is from none other than Joey Drew Studios, and it reads as follows. Dear Riley, Greetings. We received your art samples and were very impressed with your abilities. We are excited to welcome you to the team here at Joey Drew Studios. We look forward to greeting you on February 1st of this year. Sincerely, Joey Drew. So, Riley took a job at Joey Drew Studios on February 1st of an undisclosed year. This most likely occurred during Joey Drew's recruitment drive that took place shortly after Henry left the studio. We heard this from an audio log dated February 10th, 1931. 1931 is going to be an amazing year at Joey Drew Studios. We're growing, knocking out a few walls, putting in a few desks, and collecting the finest talent money can buy. Nothing is too good for my studio family. The door opens once more, and this time leads us into the hallway of Joey Drew Studios itself. 
Once again, we are tasked with filling out images of a car accident that claimed the lives of Riley's parents on drawing boards found throughout this environment. This eventually leads to the light of Joey Drew's office turning on, with a silhouette of a man himself appearing within. Another letter slides from beneath Joey's door and reads as follows. Attention, Riley Wells, Art Department. Notice of termination. Effective today, you are dismissed from any employment at Joey Drew Studios. This is due to complaints received about the grim and disturbing subjects of your work. May your dreams come true somewhere else. Joey Drew Studios Management. Because Riley grew up with darkness and sorrow in her heart, that then bled over into her artwork. Her drawings were too morbid for the light-hearted tunes being created at the studio, and this led to her termination. The door at the end of a corridor opens up once more, and this time leads into a black inky void. On a podium within this void is an inkwell labelled Gent, suggesting that once Riley was fired from Joey Drew Studios, she then took a job at the Gent Corporation, a company who would have welcomed her dark and twisted outlook on life. Realising they could harness that darkness within her to create the grim experiments they wished to foster after acquiring the ink machine for themselves. We actually received a teaser for a third mainline Bendy game simply titled Bendy Free. It would make sense for this new entry to not only focus on the Gent Corporation and their experiments with the ink machine in the real world, but also on the story of Riley and her dark descent within Gent. She may even be the villain of this upcoming game. But what do you think? So far we only have so much to work with, but Secrets of the Machine is regularly updating to add in new content, and while so far no new story material has appeared, it may very well in the future. For now, this is an exciting teaser for the direction the third mainline Bendy game is potentially headed. And with that, we have come to the end of this video taking a look at the story of Bendy, Secrets of the Machine. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it both entertaining and informative. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more horror related content. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.